I rode for 24 years. So I grew up on that bike, you know, I rode it every day. The freak accident went wrong, I lined on my neck. I actually flatlined three times. I went down and I just died on the dirt right there. And uh, paralyzed from the neck down. My life's a little bit different. I really miss being free and the freedom that you can have. And the things you take for granted, man, like brushing your teeth, you know, I can't do that. You know, go to the bathroom, I can't do that. You know, all the things that I used to be able to do, uh, I obviously cannot do the majority of them. Like, you know, when I'm laying in bed, uh, all I can do is... That's all the movement I have, so... No matter how frustrated I get, or, uh, you know, or how just ballistic I'll get, you know, I've learned from that, you know, through the years. That, you know, you can accept it and deal with it. You know, I need the help of friends and family, and uh, you know, someone needs to be my left hand and, and right hand. I mean, by myself, it's it's impossible by myself. You know, a lot of the people that thought they'd be there for me, I don't even know where they went. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't understand if they can't uh, face the situation head on and it's got to be hard for him to swallow. God has plans for everybody, you know. Uh, Whether you're rich or poor, or whatever shape or size, or uh, deformity or disabledness, whatever it is, you know, uh, I know that now being in this position and doing what I'm doing, I know that uh, God's put me in this position, He's kept me alive. I know I became uh, a much better person. The sax I have a completely different perspective on life. You know, I think of others before thinking of me, and, uh, and before I think about myself, before anyone else. You know, I have my children now, man. My kids, uh, they, they were. They both ride BMX now and have track on my yard just like before and uh, I get my enjoyment out watching them ride. You know, I know that I'm in a chair, I can't pick my kids up like I want to, I can't do all the things that dad would just love to do with the kids running around, rest of the world, and play football, soccer, or whatever, you know, ride bikes. God, ride bikes with my son, that would be amazing, you know? You know, at first you think, how, how can I do anything from chat? Well, you know, if that's all you got, then you find a way to do it. You know, I gotta get up and put my game face on every day I get up. You know, every day is a new day. You know, I like to be able to make a mark every day, uh, be able to leave something positive behind. You know, I've started up uh, Stay Strong. Uh, you know, it's a motto, you know, it's a it's a saying, stay strong, you know, when you mind, your body, your soul. The message I would always give to people in times of hurt or pain, or when they think they're gonna give up, or they think they have nowhere to go, or 
they're fighting something that they think is going to overcome them. Well, if you think there's nothing left, reach inside and dig deeper. If you think there's nothing left, reach inside and dig deeper. And I just want to be able to share that with people. And, uh, it ain't about me no more, man. It's about that. It's about us. It's about others in need. You know, the fame, the money, all of the, the, the illusional material wealth. My pride and my ego got in the way because it's like, do you know who the fuck I am?